Welcome to the iHeart Reviewing stuff. So I'm going to do an unboxing for one of the new OMG queens. This is Prism, who is a match for Kauai Queen. If you're into the tots, um, we've decided we're not going to collect tots uh, anymore. Um, just, uh, I think as Marissa gets older, she's kind of more interested and I think the larger dolls, so like OMG dolls and Rainbow High dolls, um, na na na. Uh, we got like Lala Loopsie here too, um, and Barbies and stuff. Uh, we're excited for Monster High to uh, re-release. Uh, so before I unbox her, I'll show real quick since I didn't do an unboxing. Uh, I have Miss Divine. Uh, who goes to Surreal Baby, so she's kind of the Frida Kahlo doll. Now, yeah, she doesn't quite give us Frida Kahlo vibes because uh, she doesn't have the unibrow and... Uh... But I see where they were going with this design. I actually really like her. Actually, the two that I decided to buy were ones that I liked them, and then I wasn't sure if I liked them. I kind of had back and forth feelings, but overall I'd say like I'm really happy with her. Her hair is really pretty. Um, I didn't have to wash it. I think you'd only have to if you don't like this little design that they did with the hair, because I think that has product in it at the front. Uh, but all of this that's like laying down uh, doesn't, and even right here like doesn't have uh, product uh, in it. And she's got stars uh, in her eyes. So do beware. There's a lot of paint defects going on with these. Even this one that I have is actually not perfect. Um, this eye isn't stamped exactly where it's supposed to be. Even the other one isn't. But I didn't really, I don't know. That doesn't super bug me. I guess some people think it makes the doll look like she's got like bags under her eyes. Um, and then even the star on this eye, there's like a little tiny, tiny speck of like white paint. Uh, that I don't know <laughs> if I would try to fix or not. Like I'd have to have like a super fine brush. I do have black paint. Of course, I don't know if my black paint's going to look exactly like theirs. Um, so yeah, I just... I don't think I'm gonna mess with that. I think I'm just happy with how she looks. Um, in my opinion, when I went to Walmart and they had like six boxes of her, I felt like she was the best one of the bunch. Um, Cause there were some that it looked like the star had been stamped, but maybe it was too light. So they tried to like, I don't know, send it back through the machine. And I don't know, with stamping stuff, I feel like you can never like go back and stamp again and actually line it up perfectly. So there was one that looked like just really bad stars on the eyes. Um, I'm not sure what other defects I saw with her, but definitely be aware there could be like glue stains. I don't know much about getting those off the face. So I kind of stay away from those. Um, and then there's definitely a ton of like eyes just not stamp exactly where they're supposed to be, but again, that's not a super big pet peeve for me. I would just more like to see like no glue stains on the face because I like to take pictures and I think that could maybe affect my picture. Um, and just, I don't know, the flowers I thought looked good for her makeup because sometimes like the makeup can look kind of uh, messy. And now like Target has them as well, but I see like a ton of paint uh, defects going on in those on the faces uh, as well at Target. So it's not just a Walmart uh, thing. But yeah, she's really cute. I like her shoes that are like vines going up her leg. I like this outfit that uh, is all one piece. I was kind of hoping that the top was a separate piece, but it is all con- ah, I think an earring fell out. It's all connected in the back. Um, so this is all like one piece, but I think these little arm pieces, yeah, they're separate that you could take off. And then she's got a cute flower necklace, um, but she's got a lot going on in her look. So I'll show her other items. I have them on another doll. Um, so I have this on Chillax. So she comes with this top as well. I just, um, I don't think I've even tried the top on her just because I don't feel 
like I'm gonna be into it with the rest of her look. Uh, but the skirt came on her, so I think it's cute just, you know, the skirt and top together. She came with this little bracelet that has like a flower on it. She has these little hair clips and the glasses. So it, there's a lot going on um, if you were to put all of that on one doll. Oh, and there's her purse. And this is like flocked, her handle there. So anyway, but let's get into Prism. So... <laughs> It's funny, I bought the two <laughs> that I kind of know some people, it's just probably not gonna be their style. Um, so probably I'll be like, oh, I should have waited on them because they'll probably go on sale first. Um, but I don't know, I was drawn most to kind of the most over the top two in this line. Cause I would say uh, that Swayze is really fun. Um, I've seen her in store. Um, really pretty. I love the hair. I love the all the makeup and the green lip and uh, I love that she has a top underneath the like mesh jersey. Um, she's got like a black fur coat. Uh, she's got I think some real gold chains are on the shirt that's under the jersey. I like her earrings. I like uh, the little gold jewelry attached to her hair. Um, so I think she is like really, really well done. Really love her. And Runway Diva, I would say also like isn't like, there's not too much going on with either of these two in my opinion. Um, whereas I feel like these are very over the top and <laughs> the ones I decided to buy. Um, it's interesting, like this line was really hard for me to decide. Like I saw pictures on Instagram, I saw unboxings here on YouTube and like I would love both the ones that I have, I would love them and then not know if I loved them. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it was a interesting experience. So here's her little uh, let's party. And yeah, let's see, she says, some call me edgy, some call me cute. Queens of the tracks, I play it loud. So Marissa likes these little booklets. I'm not really super into that. Uh, I could do without it. This, I wish it was a sticker instead. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure these aren't. No, I think it's just like a little more kind of thing to go with the booklet. Okay, so there she is in there that I'll have to get her out. Um, so yeah, I think some people just think there's too many different things going on in her look. Um, I actually like her. I think what they went for um, is to make her kind of like uh, Japan, uh, the Harajuku style, which I don't know if that's still a thing or not. Um, I had a student in like 2006, 2012, uh, I can't remember exactly what years I had this student. It was some time in there. Um, and she was like obsessed with Japan. She was obsessed with the Harajuku style, I think it's called, where they're kind of like mix, mix and match on purpose and kind of have a lot of things going on in their outfit on purpose. So I think that's what they went for with this one. Um, and I could actually see myself being into this like if I was like a teenager. So I think she's cool. Uh, she's got black nail polish. I like the, instead of a safety pin earring, they did this like zipper earring with like a black heart attached to the bottom of it. I really like the leggings and skirt in the top. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about her vest um, in person. I just realized I only brought a knife, so <laughs> I might not be able to get her out. So let's see, these are her shoes, which they don't do the shoe box anymore. I think some people are okay with that. Some people don't like this whole paper bag. It's still, let's see, she's a rock queen. Qu queen with like a KW33N. Uh, size six and a half. Stiletto heels, they're calling these. So those are her shoes that have like a some hearts on the zippers. There's actually, sheesh, how many zippers are going on on these? I think like four zippers and one heart is a broken heart. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I think that's even a bow on the back here. 
and there's a buckle even down there. So yeah, there's a lot even going on just in her shoes. Um, some fun painted details. Let's see what else. Is this? I don't know what this is in here. Okay, this is her whoa, belt and glasses. So I'm not crazy about these glasses. Um, they already gave these to the OMG tweens. You know, BTW doll fancy girl has these exact glasses. I mean, I guess it'd be cute to photograph them together, even though I don't know if their styles really match. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I guess they look cute in the artwork. I'm not sure how I'm gonna think if they're cute or not on the doll. Oh, and I will say, I actually do like these glasses because as you guys know, I don't really usually like glasses. A very teeny tiny belt that I hope fastens around her waist. Um, I do like that it's made of real fabric. Um, it's not just a plastic belt. It's got a cute bow on this gold metal piece. And there's some nice like gold maybe ribbon going through it and it's red. So it's actually a cute piece. Like even if you don't use it on her, you might want it for another doll. Uh, or if you take, I don't, I'll be curious with her if I can actually use any of her extra stuff like I did with Miss Divine. I actually, you know, could make like a whole nother outfit for another doll. Cause I feel like this looks totally fine. It doesn't look, you know, I feel like, you know, yeah, I might give you a second look if I saw you walking down the street wearing that because I might be like, oh, whoa, okay. Um, but I'm not like, you know, offended by it or anything. Like, I think that the cutouts are all like fine. Like, you know, I think it's pretty cute. Okay, so this is, oh, probably her bag. Oh yeah, her waffle iron looking bag. So it's like, uh, you can totally see whatever she puts in her purse. I believe this does open. Yeah, so it does open up, but I don't know if we could actually even put anything in there. It probably would have been nice if they had made it like not so thin so that maybe we could find something in the OMG dolls, uh, that would be safe to put in this because I don't know, you wouldn't want any earrings to fall out of that. I like the little pink broken heart and it's got a silver plastic uh, strap. I wish they would um, consider, excuse me, doing this more in like giving us some real chains, even though I know stuff like that can break. So I don't know. <laughs> There's things I recommend and then I'm like, well, but it could break uh, easier. Okay, I'm getting this garment bag out. Goodness, the way they put this in here. I mean, luckily I don't keep these boxes. But I don't know why they kind of hide it. So this is going to be her vest that has, uh, I think a lot of people like to keep these little garment bags. I've seen people even make clothes out of them. I think I've mentioned that before. I've never figured out uh, how to do that. So there's her vest but it looks like it's hanging as a skirt down here. So how do we get this off? Okay. How does that go? To, okay. Okay. It goes together in the front. So maybe that's what I know. I saw like an unboxing that acted like you could possibly use this as a shirt. And I was like, huh? Like, how are you going to use a vest as a shirt? Like, won't, you know, she'd be kind of like exposed, um, which some people don't mind. And that's cool. Uh, it wouldn't be my cup of tea for a doll. So it's kind of like almost seems like a harness backing to me. I don't know if uh, that's correct or not. There's a lot of silver details going on in this. It's got a black bow in front. So yeah, I could see actually since it closes up in the front and if she, if it lines up correctly on her, maybe this is actually going to give her coverage. Um, so yeah, I guess you could use this as a shirt and then maybe you could use the leggings or the skirt with another look. So definitely you'll know, um, on, uh, Instagram when I go to take pictures, if I was able to create a second look like I did with Miss Divine. I'm thinking with the other, definitely Runway Diva, I don't see how you're going to make a second look on any doll because I think she comes with a jacket 
and she's only wearing like a skirt and a top. And then I didn't, I'm not super crazy about the silver plastic piece that they put on her outfit. Um, I don't know, it just didn't super speak to me. But her hair looks really cool. I love the long braid with the two colors going on in it. And then I love the little um, pins that they give you that are like kind of jeweled that you can put in her hair. Uh, not sure if I'm going to like her glasses or not. <laughs> um, I think her earrings are cool. And I do like her fishnet like gloves, uh, you know, sleeve things she's got going on. And I like the baby hairs that they're very into doing right now. Uh, and her eye makeup is uh, really cool, just like uh, Sway's eye makeup. Uh, actually, I could see how some people might think maybe it's too much with Sway's, but I think it all goes really well with her look and hair and stuff. So, Okay, now the question will be, can I actually get this doll out without scissors? <laughs> just have a knife. Oh, okay, I got that. Where else is she hooked it? here. Okay, the waist. Ah, this is a little scary. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, okay, didn't cut my finger. <laughs> All right, and then I have to ooh, kind of pull. I always hate that they staple their heads in here. Okay, and oh, a little more hair stuck. Okay, so I do feel like, okay, there's a little more product in her hair. Uh, but yeah, really like the eye makeup. I've already seen people put this doll, if you have OMG shadow, um, if you put her in shadow's outfit, like not the whole thing, but I think just like the top and skirt that shadow has because of the eye makeup and the lip color, it looks really good on her. Um, and then of course she's already like, here, look at my nails, <laughs> her black fingernails. Um, but yeah, I really like the eye makeup. Um, now I probably looked at like, I don't know, 25 prisms because my Walmart had six and then I went to more than one Target with her and Target has like, I think even more than six of these uh, each on the shelves. Um, and I had to really, really look through them to find one that I didn't uh, hate, like if something you know was defect on the face so to me this was like the most perfect one I could find um so definitely be aware of that um because of these like bangs definitely I feel like you might see glue stains on her face because they had to glue down those bangs so be aware of that um but yeah oh and it's like kind of dangly the way the little black heart goes really like that I like the pink crimped hair that they put like half of her hair up and I like how the streaks are and they're kind of like mix matched um with the bangs uh the way they did them there but yeah there's a little bit of product I don't know if you'd have to wash it or if you could just brush that out um but yeah it's not too too bad actually uh with the gel or glue or whatever they do and then I know her skirt is a little like open here at the front, but it actually looks like the way it lays that that might actually work uh, on another doll. And I don't know if we could even, mm, yeah, I don't know if you can kind of turn it to the side to avoid that opening in the front there. Um, I'll have to play around with the skirt to see, because it doesn't look like it's gonna be, it's layered, so it's not gonna be like see-through on another doll. So yeah, so I think you could possibly, if you want to just give her the pants and the vest, I think that could work. Or, you know, just the vest and the skirt. Like I think you can kind of play around with these pieces. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, let me see. So that's her belt, uh, which I'll have to play around with if I think that belt looks best with this top or the other top. But yeah, so I'll take pictures on Instagram to show like more mix and matching of her look and stuff because it's just easier uh, there. So thanks for watching. Bye.